I really think that that's our next evolution or revolution is to just um, somehow work even shorter in boards. You know, I don't, we're not going to get down to four foot board or anything like that for a full grown guy, but you know, there's no reason we can't get down in the low five foot range. And, um, you know, we're limited by the amount of area. You need a certain amount of area to plane on a wave, especially at low speeds. Um, and, uh, you know, fin designs be become real key. Uh, you know, the slower you're going, the more fin you need. But as you start getting up into, into faster speeds on bigger waves, um, it really just becomes about catching the wave. What I, it's, as small as you, small a board as you can ride and you still catch the wave, um, uh, you know, that's, I think that's the, the, the area we want to work towards. And, uh, you know, I've, I've seen guys body surf Waimea on the outside. So, you know, there's no reason you can't catch a huge wave on a really small board. I went to, went on a trip recently, it was probably 10, pushing 10, 12 feet almost, and I rode a 5'3 quad, um, and it was, it was really fun, you know, I could get into and out of spots on the wave, and uh, um, get around on the wave a lot quicker, kind of just look and be where you want to be more quickly, but it's a real different type of surfing, it's a real different feel. You know, it's almost like riding a skateboard on, a, on, on the ocean, kind of, uh, you have less getting in the way, there's less swing weight out in front of you, it's much quicker point A to point B. When you do airs or, or, or reverses or tail slides or rotations are way quicker. Um, so you don't draw as long a line as we're used to, so it's real different looking, but um, it's, it's really a lot of fun to ride a really small board in a big wave.